John Bell Edwards reelected for a second term as Louisiana's governor. We first brought you the results and his speech last night with special coverage. Our Eric Paulson and Sheba Turk were at the governor's headquarters in Baton Rouge and have more for us. Well, to say the least, it was a big night for Governor John Bell Edwards. He was reelected by a pretty sizable margin considering how close this race has been. Yeah, he is calling it a great night for Louisiana. And you know what? He took the time to thank his supporters and his family. Of course, he spent the last few days of campaigning in New Orleans trying to rally for those last minute votes, and it worked. He also thanked the people of Louisiana who he said he could not have done this without them. Uh, and here's what, part of what the governor had to say. If this campaign has taught us anything, it's that the partisan forces in Washington, D.C. are not strong enough to break through the bonds that we share as Louisianans. And as for the president, God bless his heart. And Governor John Bell Edwards knows there is still a lot of work to be done. He talked about raising the minimum wage, closing the gender pay gap, and infrastructure as three big things he wants to tackle. And while he said that he did accomplish a lot in his first term, as you mentioned, the governor said he has a lot more to do in his second term. For Sheba Turk, I'm Eric Paulson. And Republican gubernatorial candidate Eddie Rispone conceded shortly after the race was called. He says despite the loss, he is proud of what his campaign accomplished. Danny Monteverdi and Paul Murphy were at his headquarters last night. Obviously a disappointing crowd here at the Eddie Rispone election night event here at the Le Burge Hotel in Baton Rouge. Everyone knew coming into Saturday's election that it was going to be a razor thin race in the runoff race for governor and that it was. We weren't sure who was going to come out on top, but by a thin margin, Governor John Bell Edwards over Eddie Rispone. 51 percent to 49 percent. Danny. And Eddie Rispone, the day before the election, was saying there's really nothing more they could do. It was really just up to the voters. They were doing what they could to get voters out. But as you said, that razor thin margin stayed just thin enough to send John Bell Edwards back to the governor's mansion for another four years. You know, there's a lot of discussion about Donald Trump, President Donald Trump coming down to Louisiana three times to stump for the Republican candidate. Uh, did it help? Did it hurt? I just heard from a, a noted Democrat who says that maybe it helped galvanize and get out the vote in the African-American community as much as it did to get the Republican vote out. And Senator Bill Cassidy says he thinks that helped get some voters out for Eddie Rispone and got him the numbers that he had here tonight. And speaking of uh, Mr. Cassidy, Senator Cassidy, he, he also talked about the role Jefferson Parish played in swinging this race at John Bell Edwards' way. He, he got the, the uh, 57, 58 percent of the vote tonight in Jefferson Parish, uh, something he needed to do to win. Yeah, that's right. Edwards carried Jefferson Parish, Democrat, but also Kyle Ardwin, a Republican. He won Jefferson Parish, too. So that shows that split in Jefferson Parish as well. And Eddie Rispone came out and gave a, a brief concession speech. It was about five minutes long, I would say. And he said that we have nothing to be ashamed of. 700,000 people in Louisiana wanted something different. Many of y'all work very, very hard, and I appreciate that. It's very humbling to know that we have that many people really want something better. You put a lot of your treasure in this. You put a lot of your time and your heart, and you were doing it for the right reasons. And we're going to continue to do that. We're going to work in this state. We're going to make sure that we do one day make this the best state that can possibly be, not be last. Eddie Rispone went on to say while he is disappointed, he is grateful to his wife, family, friends, and supporters during this hard-fought campaign. And in fact, his oldest son, Thad, got up on stage a short time ago, said he was proud of his dad, 70 years old, making his first run for elected office, state's highest office, and coming this close to, to getting there. And that is uh, the scene here at the Eddie Rispone election night event in Baton Rouge. For Danny Monteverdi, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Moving to St. Tammany Parish, there were two big races to watch. One of the key races was the race for parish president. Mike Cooper denied incumbent Pat Brister a third term as parish president. Cooper, known for his run as the mayor of Covington, had a 61% lead over Brister. Cooper begins his term as parish president in January. St. Tammany has re-elected incumbent Randy Smith as parish sheriff, defeating his challenger Tim Lentz. 
Smith took over as the sheriff back in 2015. In that race, he unseated Jack Strain. Strain now faces state rape and corruption charges. Republican Kyle Ardoin won in the rematch in Louisiana's Secretary of State election. He defeated De Democrat challenger Gwen Collins Greenup. Ardoin served as the first assistant of Secretary of State for eight years prior to being elected in 2018. Last year's election was called when former Secretary of State Tom Shedler stepped down over a sexual harassment scandal. Ardoin says he's focusing on ensuring fair and honest elections in Louisiana. Geography played a huge role in Louisiana's election for Supreme Court. Will Crane defeated Hans Liljeburg for the open seat. Crane dominated his home turf of the North Shore, where most of the voters in the Supreme Court are located. Crane took home 64% of the votes. His term runs through 2028. And of course, for more election results, you can head to our website. That's WWLTV.com.